up, Kira Gang? Today is Vlogmas Day 4, and today I have a very simple video for you. Um, I'm going to be recording me doing a rainbow unicorn inspired wig. This was for a customer um, a few weeks ago, and I recorded the process. And since I didn't do anything today, there was no real vlog, so I just decided to upload this video. So, um, it's not really a tutorial, it's just me showing y'all, um, me <laughs> constructing the wig a little bit. Um, I now make all my wigs on the sewing machine so they can last longer for the customers. And I'm just showing you how, um, you, I will put like the closure on there afterwards. This particular client, she wanted four bundles. So that's why this hair seems really, really thick um, and really, really full. It was just like 20 inches of my blonde, my 613 blonde straight hair. Um, yeah. <laughs> so like I said, I'm just putting the closure on here and then I'm going to sew the closure onto the cap and the bundles that are already machine wefted on here i'm trying to practice on how to start doing the closure on the machine but i'm low-key kind of scared with the whole lace thing yet thing um yeah so well, i'm gonna figure that out but in the meantime i just sew i hand sew the closure onto all the rest of the bundles like how you normally would when you're making a wig Um, again, like I said, I'm doing a rainbow inspired wig today, rainbow unicorn inspired wig. Her birthday was coming up and she wanted just some crazy color. And I was like, yeah, girl, I can do that. So this is what we're doing. Like I always like to start with 613 hair when I'm doing really wild colors like that. And, um, yeah, so I was really excited that she trusted me <laughs> with this um, wig and everything. And I just want to show y'all um, like what colors I used, how I did it, and everything else. So right now, I'm just cutting off the closure cap part that's inside of the wig. The part that you don't need for when you're parting your wig. So everyone knows. Excuse me, y'all. Sorry. Everyone knows that you don't need this black part inside of your wig. So I'm just cutting it out and showing you what the inside of my wigs look like. You, As you can see, there's a lot of a great foundation and everything. And of course, I cut off, I cut off all those extra sh thread strings inside of the wig. But right now, I'm just showing you that I cut off the closure. So now I'm going to show you all the colors that I use for the wig. I think I use like five different colors like in total um i started from lime green all the way to um like pink and the pink that i used it was like a cotton candy pink but i ended up having to mix it up with um like a pink mania from yeah this is the cotton candy pink from adore I use periwinkle sky blue sweet mint and this lime light from uh kiss colors but like i said with the pink toward the end i had to mix it with pink mania from um kiss colors because i low-key ran out only had one bottle for like the entire pink section and also it was just like too bright if that makes any sense like it was too pastel um but yeah, so with all the colors, I decided to mix a ton, a ton of conditioner. Like, I actually used a complete large bottle of Tresemme um, conditioner like on this entire wig. So, actually, I couldn't even tell what colors was what um, when I put them on the wig. Like, as in, like, it came out a certain way, but it actually look different when it dried but I wanted them to be as pastel as possible because that's what she wanted and I wanted to make sure that when I put the colors together and mix them in that everything would be like a nice gradient so that's just what I did like I said from the bottom I started with the lime green all the way up to like sweet mint 
then the sky blue like it went from green to pink from the top um and you're you guys are gonna see some videos and some pictures toward the end of like the gradient of the colors and everything like that i'm so sorry that if you guys hear me yawning like i'm actually like recording this voiceover at like 12 midnight right now and i just edited like two videos so i'm really sorry <laughs> that's what you hear like i'm trying to be um freaking um i'm trying to be active in this vlogmas this year like it's actually really 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 difficult especially with like how i'm recording and how i'm editing and just how the days are flowing by so please just forgive me y'all like whew, i'm so sorry i'm so sorry um but yeah i'm gonna just let you guys watch um the rest of the video hopefully like it's not bad quality at all with um because i tried to like fast forward some parts and some things were like pretty bad but hopefully everything else is good and i'll let you listen to like this very nice instrumental that i like to put on <laughs> all my videos and then i'll also show you pictures and videos at the end and then actually what the client looked like um at the end of the video as well so thank you guys for watching and stay tuned tomorrow for vlogmas day five um that's actually going to be an actual vlog. So thank you guys. See you later.
kids think I miss my cocoa butter kisses. I miss my cocoa butter kisses. Oh.